Our next movie, we step up, I think, in class, is a Walt Disney comedy that I like, and it has been quite a few years since I've been able to say that. Maybe that's because The Devil and Max Devlin isn't like most Disney comedies. In fact, it has sort of an adult sense of humor. Elliot Gould stars as the Los Angeles apartment building manager, serving as the front man for a crooked real estate owner. Gould is killed in a car crash, goes to hell, and there he receives an offer from Bill Cosby playing an agent of the devil. I'm having a bad dream. Welcome to hell. I'm having a bad dream. Um, um. Barney Satin, Souls Manager. And I'm I'm not dead. No, wait, 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 wait a minute. No, wait, hold everything. Uh, you're making a terrible mistake. Uh, I don't belong here. I, I've never done anything. Maxwell Harvey Devlin for cheating in a fourth grade spelling test. These are trivial misdemeanors. If you'll just bear with me, Mr. Chairman, sir. For fraudulent income tax deductions. But everybody does that. And for failing to follow through on 11 promises of marriage. It's not fair. Fair. Are you forgetting where you are? Max Devlin is hereby condemned to level four. Four. Level four? What's level four? Horrible. Horrible. You're going to send me someplace horrible? Unless... Course. Unless, unless... What? What? If you could find three souls to take your place, there's a, a doctor I know who's deeply into Medicaid fraud, and, uh... No good. Soon or later. We get those people anyway. What we're looking for is fresh, unsullied innocence. Actually, I don't think I know any. Where do I find them? L.A. Get them. You want me to corrupt the souls of little kids? Where do I sign? Can you believe that? A portrait of hell in a Disney movie. <laughs> There's much more that's surprising in The Devil and Max Devlin, including some funny dialogue as Gould rounds up three young people, a stock car driver, a pop singer, and a fatherless little boy in exchange for saving his own soul. I laughed throughout this picture, enjoying it as a modest little comedy, and absolutely stunned that Disney Studios could make a movie like this complete with go-go dancers, shady record promoters, and young people who look like they really were living in the 80s. Not Disney's typical idea of the 80s, which in their last few movies has been something like the 1880s. So <laughs> a big cheer for the devil and Max Devlin and some applause for those beleaguered folks at Disney Studios in Burbank. This is the kind of movie they should be making more of. Well, Gene, I share your applause that Disney is finally creeping into the last fifth of the 20th century. <laughs> but on the other hand, I didn't like this movie very really? much. I thought it was pretty predictable. It kind of seemed like it was a double reverse on Heaven Can Wait. It was really boring seeing all the things he was going through, trying to get the signatures on the dotted line. And I'll tell you something. I hate to go back to this, but I insist, or at least I think, for the age group that this movie is aimed at, I think they'd like The Incredible Shrinking Woman more. Well, what's so great about it is I don't think this movie was aimed at any age group because I uh -huh. liked it. I think good writing never aims at any age group, and so do the good movies. I think a good movie can appreciate it by young people and older people, and I thought this film was delightful. I laughed just in that scene where uh, Elliot Gould says he's accused by the devil of making 11 promises of marriage, <laughs> okay, to yeah. women. Now, the adult person can figure out why he might be making the 11 promises no, of marriage, no. and that's kind of amusing. I thought this was pretty mm -hmm. good writing. I liked it a lot. Well, I think we disagree on this one. Okay. Let's move on to one that I think we agree on, and I sure think this is one of the best movies of the year. We split, though, on The Devil and Max Devlin, the new Disney picture. Gene liked it and thought it showed some imagination and humor. I thought it was boring and predictable. 